welcome to Art Street. So, you've made a decision. Something's going to change. You've noticed something, focused on some discrepancy between what you're doing and what you value. This happened by increasing your awareness about yourself and by hearing the perspectives of others you trust. You've realized you have choice and you're using that power of choice. Here you are, standing on your decision point. Now what? You see your destination, your goal, where you want to be, far away on the horizon. Even if you can see a road from here to there, how do you make progress toward that destination goal? Successful moving involves planning and packing. You've reached the stage of change called preparation. Road trip. Time to find a map and travel supplies. Change is like a road trip. We can suddenly take off for somewhere new, but without a plan, we may be setting ourselves up for a lot of hassles we might have been able to avoid. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, who wrote The Little Prince, said, a goal without a plan is just a wish. We're ready for more than just a wish. Let's follow the old advice, plan your work, then work your plan. Today's project is to make a map and a packing list for this journey of change. My example journey is going to be from where I am now to quitting smoking. So looking at this map I'm using of the United States, I see that I am here in New Mexico. So this is my starting point. I'm noticing other areas of the country I find appealing. Uh, places that sound interesting to me. So using that good feeling as if I was on a real road trip, I'm going to say that my goal, smoke free, is located here in Washington. Its new name is smoke free. Between here and there, I see more states to cross. What might their names be on this journey of change about smoking? I think my first new state would be cutting back. That's a place I need to travel through. And then Oh, I think and then would be withdrawal. I don't really want to go there. I think I'm going to have to. And finally, I'm going to look at maybe a place called Cravings. And one called Triggers. I want to avoid Triggers, but I'm not sure I'd be able to stay away from Triggers. I think I'm going to get up to Better Health. And then I would finally get to smoke free. So I'm going to map a route through those states from here to there. So here's my start. Go to here, to here, and try to cut between these to go here and finally here. Excellent. What do I need to get there successfully? information about the places I'm traveling through. I 
I need a segment about people that I can call. If the going gets rough, I need to remember to stop for fuel. little gas, food for the soul, and then I also need daily travel plans that include safe places to rest. So I'm going to use the borders around the map to begin making these lists. For example, I'm familiar with cutting back but where can I get information about withdrawal, cravings, and triggers? It would be good to know the terrain of these places. Who can I call? Who has traveled this road already? Who's my AAA tow truck when I get really stuck or break down? And who gives me good direction when I feel lost? Who sings along the way on this road trip and brings fun and happiness? Fuel might include finding quotations, artwork, music, books that are energizing as I'm going along. What's my mini goal for each day? Make it to lunch and take a walk? Something to look forward to. What are my rest stops? Does quiet meditation help me rest? Watching comedy movies? How do I signal to myself I've made it through another day toward better health? and smoke free. My destination goal. My journey to smoke free might only take a few weeks or a month, but my planning could take several months. That's okay. I want to make it. And there's so much I want to gather together. Like, where can I get nicotine patches? Or are lozenges better? There's a support line, really? How long until my lungs are healed enough to start running and hiking? I want to prep my friends and family for the change that I'm planning and see who can support me and who really isn't able to. Again, that's okay. Better to figure this out ahead of time if I can. Planning is time well spent as you prepare to go on this journey of change toward what you want to see happen, toward integrity, with your values. Mary Oliver is a writer who once said, tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? Until next time.